Okay, cruising right along, we're on 3.7. We're gonna talk about percent proportions and percent equations. So what exactly is a percent proportion? Well, that's this guy right over here. It's P, which represents the percent, divided by 100 equals is over of. Now remember how we were talking about ratios and proportions in the previous lessons? Well, it's the part out of the total. See, the percent, when you think of like 30%, that's 30 parts out of 100. It's the part out of the whole equals is, that's the part out of the whole. So part out of whole equals part out of whole. So that's how we're setting up that proportion. I'll show you an example using the percent proportion and then one using the percent equation. So what percent of 40 is 32? So we don't know, when they say what, that's like, we don't know, that's the variable. So I'm just gonna leave that as P. So what percent, okay, so part out of 100, okay, of 40, so 40 is the total, is 32, that's the part out of the total. So the percent out of 100, percent means per 100, okay, cent is like 100 cents in a dollar, 100 years in a century, right? So parts out of 100 equals 32 is the part out of the total 40. Now remember, we learned about this in the last lesson with the cross products. We can cross multiply, that's 40p equals 3200. Then all we have to do is do the opposite of multiplying by 40, divide by 40, and that comes out to uh, let's see, that's 80. So that means it's going to be 80%. So that's the proportion way of solving it. The percent equation way of solving it is like this. It's just like translating something. Like if you know a different language, it's like taking each word and translating it into that other language. So what percent? I'm just going to write P percent because we don't know. That's the variable. That's the unknown. Of, whenever you see the word of, that means times 40. Is means equals. 32. Pretty neat, right? So of means times, is means equals, what means we don't know, so we're going to make that a variable. Now remember, just like we were solving equations before, we want to get the variable by itself. What's the opposite of multiplying by 40, dividing by 40? This comes out to 0 0.80, but this is p percent. So to convert from a decimal to a percent, you have to move that decimal point two places to the right. So that means the percentage is going to be 80%. Same thing we got up here, just a different way of doing it. So if you have to do the proportion method, you know, if they say to do it that way, you can do it that way. Or if you want to do it the equation way, you can do it the equation way. I prefer the equation way myself uh, because I kind of like that idea of just translating the sentence into an equation. But you can do it either way. So what number is 15% of 80? Okay, that's a good question. So what number? X equals 15%, I'm converting that into a decimal, of remember means times, 80. So we just have 0.15 times 80, which is how much? Well, we can do that on the calculator. I'll just multiply that out here for us. So that comes out to uh, 12. Okay, so we'll just write 12. Now, if you're wondering, how would you do this as a proportion, Mario, right? So what number is 15%? So 15 parts out of 100, so 15%. Okay, what number is, so we don't know what the number is, out of, meaning that's the total, 80. So remember, 100% is a total, just like of 80, out of 80 is a total. This is the part out of the whole, part out of the whole. We cross multiply solve, we get the same answer, right? Okay, number two. Want to learn Algebra 1? Check out my Learn Algebra 1 video course for sale where we go through 87 video lessons that take you step by step by step through Algebra 1. We talk about the important concepts, formulas, and we go through numerous example problems together to help you learn Algebra 1. Click the interactive card or the link in the description below to take you over there to get started with some of the free lessons. In the meantime, let's continue on with this video. Same answer, right? Okay, number two. 24 is 150% of what number? So see how I like to translate it into an equation? 24, is means equal. 150%, I move that decimal two places to the left to convert it into a decimal, right? The percent to a decimal. Of means times. What means we don't know, so we make it a variable. That's our variable we're trying to solve for. Now all we have to do is do the opposite of multiplying both sides by 1.50, divide both sides by 1.50, and that should come out to how much? Is that, uh, let's see, 24 divided by 1.5, 16. Okay, now you're probably asking me, how would you do that as a proportion? Because some students do like the proportion method better. So uh, let's see, so if 24 is 150%, of what number? So 150% is 150 out of 100, because percent means per 100 divided by 100. 24 is, see, is out of what number? See, of what number? That's the total. Cross multiply and solve like we did in the last section. Okay, number three, what percent of 40 
Okay, what percent of 40 is 8? So there's our variable what, we don't know, percent. Of means times, is means equal. Divide both sides by 40, right? P percent equals 8 divided by 40 is, let's see, 1 fifth, so that comes out to 0 0.20. And then you can do that in your calculator. And then we're going to move that decimal two places to the right to convert this into a percentage. That's going to be 20%. Okay, last question in this section, a story problem, of course, right? You want to get good at these story problems. It makes the difference between B and A, right? Okay, if there are 2,000 people at your school and 17% bring their lunch, how many people bring their lunch? Okay, so I like to read it really quick. Then I like to kind of analyze it. So there's 2,000 people, 17% bring their lunch. So let's do a proportion. So 17 parts out of 100, that's 17%. 17 parts, 70%, okay, right? That's uh, this equation here, P over 100. Is is how many bring their lunch out of the total 2,000 students. See, part out of whole equals part out of whole. That ratio is equal to that ratio. It forms a proportion. We cross multiply and solve, right? So we get that product equals that product, right? So that comes out to, let's write it over here, 100x equals 34,000. Divide by 100, because we want to do the opposite of multiplying by 100. You can reduce this down. It comes out to 340 people. Remember, I want to put those units because it's a story problem. So 340 people, and I probably would write a sentence, bring their lunch to this particular school. That'd be a little bit better. So great section. We talked about how to uh, use the percent equation and the percent proportion. One last section to go in chapter three. I'll see you in that last section, 3.8.